Hi everyone, Mike here. One of the things that I love about being an Excel user on the Mac is that I have access to the macOS built-in colour picker. Using it, I can copy a colour from anywhere on the screen. An image, a shape, even the Excel or macOS interface, and then apply it to a cell background or the contents of a cell, or any other object in Excel, such as a shape. Yes, I know you've got the Format Painter, but that has limitations. For one, it copies all the formatting applied to a cell, not just the colour. And two, you can only use a cell as the source, not an image or other object. If you've ever used PowerPoint on Windows, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You can set an object's colour by using the eyedropper to copy the colour from somewhere else. For some reason, Microsoft left it out of the other Office apps. I'll show you in this video how to copy a colour from an image and use it as the background colour of a cell. I'll show you how to copy a colour from an image and use it as the background colour of a button. And how to copy a colour from the Mac interface and apply it to an icon. There's also a bonus tip at the end, where you'll learn how to add colours to the custom colour palette, which makes them available to all the apps on your Mac. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. What I've been asked to do here is set the background colour of the cells containing the flavour name and price to match the colour of the ice cream from the photo. You can see I've done it for Blue Moon, Vanilla and Rose. I need to do it for the other three flavours. So I'll start off by selecting the cells with caramel and the price. Click on the button to set the colour of the cell background. Go to More Colours. And then click the eyedropper and then hover over the colour that I want to use for the background of the cells, which is that colour there, the colour of the ice cream. And then click OK. I'll then repeat that for mint and strawberry. So select the cells, click the drop down for the cell background, click more colours, click the eyedropper, and then hover over the colour and click OK. And then finally, Strawberry, select the drop down for the fill colour, more colours, click the eyedropper, hover over the colour from the photo and click on OK. But it's not just cell backgrounds and fonts that you can set the colour of in that way. I want to set the colour of this button here, which is actually just a shape. And I want it to match the green from the header, the excellent ice cream, luxury parlour and cafe, which is an embedded JPEG image. So I'll start by clicking on the shape and then going up to the fill button. You can use that fill button to fill the background colour of anything, not just cells. In this case, I'm doing it to a shape. Select more colours. Click the eyedropper. Hover over the colour that I want to use and click and click OK. And finally, I'm going to set the colour of the ice cream icon, which I put in there by using insert icons. I'm going to set the colour of that to match the grey of the Mac OS menu bar, just to show you that you can pick the colour up from anywhere on the screen, even outside of Excel. So I'll do that by clicking on the icon, clicking on Graphics Format, Graphics Fill, More Colours, clicking the eyedropper and then hovering up to the menu bar until I get the grey, click and click OK. Before I wrap up this video, a little bonus tip for you. If you're going to use certain colours often, you can add them to the custom colours palette. They then become available to any application on your Mac that uses the custom colours palette. Let me show you. This time I'll use the font colour button, but any button that brings up the colour palette will do. You can use the colours from any section of the colours dialog box. Just click the buttons at the top of the screen to access the different sections. I'll select a colour 
and drag it from the left of the eyedropper into one of the squares of the palette and click OK. I'll do that again, but this time select a colour using the eyedropper. So I'll select the rose colour and again drag the colour onto the palette. Now, if I go back to the colour palette, those colours are still there. Although I added them to the palette via the font colour dialog, they're available from any colour dialog. And in fact, they're available to any app on the Mac that uses the standard colour palette. Well, I hope you found that useful. Give it a like if you did. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.